A TV5 follow-up on a woman who says she was fired for refusing to falsify blood test results for children exposed to lead during the Flint water crisis. A jury awarded her $100,000 and tonight she's sharing some dark details of her time with the Genesee County Health Department. Elise joins us live in the studio with more Elise. It's been a long road filled with emotional distress for April Cook Hawkins. She was fired from the health department six and a half years ago. She said she was basically told to lie after discovering kids blood test results were higher for lead than what the county was reporting. April Cook Hawkins says she started working for the Genesee County Health Department in December 2015 and found high lead results for children in the county system. They were bringing me different sheets that stated low results where in the computer they had high results. So that's when I knew the numbers wasn't matching for these children and I questioned it. She accuses her supervisor of moving to cover up the data discrepancy. My um, computer was removed. Um, and when I came in the next day, they just said that it was out for cleaning, but I wasn't able to access that data anymore. Her attorney, Carol Lofbaum, tells TV5 Cook Hawkins became heavily scrutinized in the workplace to the point where she was afraid to take lunch breaks. She also referred to an employee bringing in a cat to work to set off Cook Hawkins allergies, which resulted in her going to urgent care twice. Her face was swollen, her eyes were you know, swollen shut, and the jury was actually shown pictures of that. So. You know, the case obviously wasn't about a cat in the workplace, but this scenario kind of illustrates just the level of hostility she was met with by her supervisor because she failed to go along with this illegal data scheme. And it didn't stop there. Cook Hawkins says she was told to lie to the federal government. Once the vets came in, that I think that's when really everything kind of hit the fan because I was called in and said, hey, don't show them the blue sheets, don't give them access to your computer, don't do anything with them. Leaving parents with the impression that they didn't have to follow up with their pediatrician because, you know, my child checked out okay. It's right. just, it's just appalling. A jury sided with her Tuesday, awarding her $100,000 for emotional distress. She feels vindicated. Everything that not only myself, my family, the residents of Flint has been through with this water crisis, it was just a sigh of relief because it was so many things out there saying, oh, she's just lying on us and all of that. So um, I thank God that there was a victory in the court. Now, in a statement, the Genesee County attorney said he was disappointed with the verdict but respects the jury's decision. He also says the county is reviewing its options. Reporting in studio, Elise Ramey, back to you.